السلام عليكم أعزائي اليوم محاضرتنا هي المحاضرة الأخيرة في مادة القراءة الاستيعابية الشابتر السابع شابتر 7 تحت عنوان Students won't give up their french fries إذا تتذكرون كلمة french fries مرت علينا بالشابتر الأول وإحنا قلنا إلها مردفات منعتها chips اللي يعني البطاطس المقلية إذا مثل ما اعتادنا في بداية كل شابتر نبدأ ب quotation In general humankind since the improvement in cookery eats twice as nature requires يعني بصورة عامة الإنسان بعد ما طور في الطبخ قام يأكل بضعف ما يحتاجه إذا نبدأ في ال passage Students won't give up their French fries. On a recent summer night at the local Dairy Queen in Moorhead, Minnesota, Deborah Lee Cadwell, the director of dining services at Concordia College, felt a tap on her shoulder. She turned around to find the young man she didn't recognize holding up an ice cream cone. He asked me if it was a red, yellow, or a green, says Miss Lee Cadwell, who realized the young man was a student at Concordia, where she has added color-coded labels to all dining hall foods to inform students of fat content. Yellow means low fat, less than 5 grams. Green indicates medium fat content 5 to 13 grams and red is for high for high fat foods more than 13 grams i told him it was a red but that was okay as long as it was a moderation says miss lee cadwell who is a registered dietitian Perhaps it is an attempt to avoid gaining the dreaded freshman 15. But students around the country are demanding more information about the foods they are served in dining halls, and they are asking for a greater variety of healthy fare. According to college officials, over the past few years, College have responded by hiring more dietitians and nutritionists and going to greater lengths to provide students with information about the caloric and fat content and fat content of the food they eat. But despite the wealth of information, Students don't appear to, to, to be eating any healthier than their predecessors. They may be more health conscious, but that doesn't necessarily mean they are eating healthy, says Robin, the president of David Porter Associ Associates, an independent food consulting business based in Crofton, Maryland, that works with 70 colors. They talk the talk but don't really walk the walk. French fries outsell applies by thousands and thousands of pounds. Some even worry that the feast of information can be harmful by feeding some students obsession with food. Information and options Several colleagues have recently purchased software called Net Nutrition from the Ithaca-based company Seaboard, which allows students to click through the dining hall menus on their college website and learn the preparation method, ingredients, nutrients and health information for every dish served for example 
a student at the University of Southern California used the website one day this month could have chosen could have chosen among thai beef salad vegetarian sloppy joes and japanese spinach or opted for classic american favorites like cheeseburgers or opted for classic american favorites like cheeseburgers and and pepperoni pizza to name a few dishes usc has even set up kiosks in one of its dining halls to allow students to check the website with their dinner trays in hand and other colleges are installing similar kiosks even at usc however pizza is still the most popular item says michael the director of his hospitality services he says burgers and fries are being consumed as much as ever more variety it's not it's not this that students lack food options the university's 29 dining halls boast condiment bars with kimishi and four different types of mayonnaise ethnic foods and ingredients are also increasingly popular says Haddon vice president of healthcare and educational for u.s food service a food distribu distributor based in columbia maryland students have grown up eating a wide a wider area a wider area of foods and it's no longer uncommon for sushi to be in dining halls fries and a coke still the three items that top u.s food services list of most frequently ordered foods are chicken tenders french fries and carbonated beverage some days i feel like i'm banging my head against the wall says miss lee of Ka of concordia which is also setting up electronic chaotic the students some days i feel like i'm banging my head against a wall says miss lee which is also setting up electronic kiosk the students talk out of both sides of their mouths they say they want nutrition and variety but then they gravitate to their familiar favorites the pizza the burgers and the fried chicken stripes or they take an opposite approach nutrition experts say and become so preoccupied with the food that they barely eat anything there definitely there definitely seems to be two extremes says stephanie horvath a senior at the university of north carolina carolina at chapel hill a lot of people eat the burgers and fries and then there are people who grasp onto what they think is healthy and don't eat balanced meals miss horvath recalls that her two mates freshman year would brag about how good they had been on a given day because they ate because they ate nothing but a piece of bread another friend ate only salads and couldn't figure out why she always had stomach aches and digestive problems says miss horvath 
what Miss Horvath and many college dietitians and nutritionists observe in part of national trend, although it is difficult to say what percentage of college students have eating disorders or struggle with obesity. Many college nutritionists say they notice a growing number of students splitting into two camps of unhealthy eaters, overweight, fast food junks, junks or obsessive dieters who either bing and purge or nearly st starve themselves. It's a sort of like everything else in our country, says Christian. Economist, an assistant professor of nutrition at Tufts University, who specializes in the study of college students' eating habits. There is a public health crisis with obesity, and there is also more eating disorders, and in both cases, the underlying cause is the same in that it's emotional and started before they set they set food on campus striving for moderation the problems of compulsive overrating overeating and understanding have the same underlying cause health officials say they both show an inability to eat in moderation consequently experts like rwanda the staff nutritionists at the Student Health Center at Michigan State University say the, the, avail the availability of nutritional information does little or nothing to influence students' eating habits. The students who should be paying attention to nutritional information are ignoring it, Ms. Bokram says while the ones that pay attention care too much. I would do anything to get rid of things like Kiosik, says Miss Bokram. I have students say they won't eat foods at that have a certain amount of fat grams in them, and that is just unhealthy. I think giving the student that information sends the wrong message it's important to teach people to eat without labels. Students tend to disagree. Lindsay, a senior at Meredith College in Realia, NC, or New York City, says that she wished the dining halls at her college provided such information if it had been available, she as its mate have help, helped her make more informed eating decisions. Her freshman year, when she gained more than 13 pounds. And Miss Horvath at Chapel, at Chapel Hill points out that such information is not different from labels on food in the supermarket. If they are going to make it, mandatory for you to be on a meal plan they have an obligation to tell you what is in the food they are serving she says meanwhile college nutritionists and dietitians will continue to emphasize moderation as a key to healthy eating both at college and beyond as nancy elson a nutritionist at william Patterson University in Wine, New Jersey, puts it, it's easy to give the students nutritional information, but it's harder, but it's hard to impart, but it's hard to impart to them the understanding that food is the, is the one thing they have to make peace with in their lives, unlike other things, they may develop addictions to food as to food is the one thing they can't give up 
for the rest of their lives. بعد ما انتهينا من قراءة القطعة عدكم التمرين A اللي هو ال comprehension لازم تحلو كذلك B بعدها راح ننتقل إلى أهم المفردات اللي مرت علينا طبعا هاي المفردات راح تكون موجودة عدكم بالpowerpoint لازم تحفظوها لأن أكيد ممكن تجي بالامتحان وبعدها راح ننتقل إلى موضوع آخر اللي هو idiomatic expressions ال idiomatic expressions يعني التعابير الاصطلاحية احنا باللغة العربية عندنا الكثير من التعبيرات الاصطلاحية اللي نستخدمها بديلة عن المفردات الطبيعية كذلك عندنا في اللغة الانجليزية وهي امثلة امامكم it is rainy cats and dogs يعني لو نشوفها نترجمها حرفيا تكون انها تمطر قطط وكلاب وهذا الشيء مستحيل فهنا اللي المعنى ما وراء هذه العبارة ما وراء هذا الايديوم هو انها تمطر بغزارة الاخر هو a piece of cake a piece of cake يعني قطعة او جزء من الكيك لكن هنا نتجي بمعنى انه شيء جدا سهل كأنه a piece of cake يعني إذا من, من أريد أعبر عن شيء هو جدا بسيط أو جدا سهل كأن يكون امتحان أو مهمة معينة تاسك معين فنقول عليها a piece of cake ثالثا this shirt costs an arm and a leg this shirt costs an arm and a leg يعني هذا الشيرت هذا القميص أو التيشيرت يكلف رجل وذراع وقدم ذراع ورجل يعني هذا الشيء يعني اذا نترجمها حرفيا تفقد معناها شيء مو منطقي لكن هذا المقصود من عنده انه هو جدا غالي keep your chin up chin يعني الحنج اللي بالوجه بس keep your chin up تجب بمعنى to encourage someone not to give up يعني أنت تحفز شخص معين حتى أنه ما يستسلم ما ييأس تقول له keep your chin up يعني ارفع ذقنك uh, we are all in the same boat جميعنا في نفس القارب هنا أنا in the same boat مو يعني قارب حقيقي موجود لا يعني إحنا كنا في نفس السيتويشن بنفس الموقف بنفس المأساة بنفس المأزق والأخيرة when pigs fly when pigs fly يعني عندما تطير الخنازير يعني مستحيل إنه الخنزير يطير فهو هذا الغرض من عنده مثل ما إحنا بالعراق شو شو نقول نقول مثلاً من يبيض الديج يعني هذا الشيء مستحيل صح بالتالي when pigs fly يعني أنا إذا أعبر عن شيء هو مستحيل شيء ما راح يصير أقول when pigs هذا الموضوع اللي هو الإديوماتيك إكسبرشنز عليا تمرينين A طبعا صفحة 81 تمرين A وتمرين B أيضا لازم تطلعون عليه وتحلو آخر شيء بهذا الشابتر صفحة 82 اللي هو Reading Skill من مهارات القراءة هي السمورايزينج يعني التلخيص فهنا أنا قاعد يشرح أن كيف تتم عملية السمورايزينج السمورايزينج أو التلخيص هو عبارة عن أنه شخص بعد ما يقرأ قطعة معينة يقوم يأخذ فد نقاط مهمة يعني يسوي عملية اللي هي taking notes يأخذ نقاط أو رؤوس أقلام مهمة ويترك التفاصيل وطبعا بعد ما يأخذ هذه الفكرة أو الأفكار المهمة لازم شو يسوي؟ لازم يسوي paraphrasing يعني شنو paraphrasing؟ يعني أنه يعيد صياغة النقاط المهمة اللي موجودة في النص الأصلي ولكن بمفرداته الخاصة بمفردات الشخص لذلك summarizing a long reading or lecture is a way of taking notes it can help you remember the most important parts of what you read or heard when you summarize you paraphrase 
the main points يعني so paraphrasing النقاط الأساسية تعيد صياغتهم تعيد كتابتهم بمفرداتك using your own words makes you think about what you have just learned include only the most important ideas in a summary بالتالي من تسوي summary لازم فقط تضمن الأفكار أو النقاط المهمة مو تعيد آه تعيد كتابة القطعة بأكملها أو تذكر تفاصيل ما داعي لها do not include small details or codes يعني ما داعي إنك أنت آه تضمن تفاصيل صغيرة أو اقتباسات to write a good summary follows these steps حتى تسوي السمر يكون جيد لازم تتبع هاي الخطوات الثلاثة number one read the passage and identify its main idea أول نقطة لازم إنك تقرأ القطعة وبعدها تحدد شن هي الفكرة الأساسية من هذه القطعة شن هي الجست الحبكة الهدف من هذه القطعة two write the main idea in your own words وهذه النقطة هي تمثل البارفريزين يعني شنو يعني انك بعد ما فهمت الفكرة الاساسية من القطعة اللي امامك اللي انت قرأتها لازم تكتب هذه الفكرة لكن بكلماتك الخاصة يعني مو تاخذ كلمات تسوي نسخ وتلصقها لا 3 complete the summary with the most important points in the passage وبالاخير تنهي السمري مالتك بمن بنقاط تكون مهمة جدا في القطعة اذا الى هنا تنتهي محاضرتنا وتنتهي رحلتنا في مادة القراءة الاستيعابية اتمنى لكم الموفقية والنجاح بالامتحانات شكرا جزيلا